Hey guys, Josiah here from EasyCaters.com. Um, wanted to go over a update that I'm doing to the time-based relative volume indicator set that we have on the website. Um, so I'm adding a few new features and uh, kind of streamlining the package a little bit to make it a little more easy to understand and easy to use. Um, the biggest feature change that I'm implementing here is the paint bars. Um, the ability to have the highest volume um, bars be painted in a, uh, in various other colors, kind of like a gradient. So the darker color it means lower volume, the brighter color means um, higher volume. And so you can do that for both red and, and green. So it gets continually brighter and brighter the higher the volume it gets. And you can change these colors. You can also make it so it's darker bars on the higher volume or you know lighter bars on the higher volume. And you can hand pick each of those colors however you want uh, just by setting them here in settings. Um, so I thought I'd go through these real quick. And so previously we had um, several different separate indicators, one for you know uh, time-based, intraday, um, uh, relative volume and then also um, uh, time-based trade volume. So we have uh, indicators for share volume and for trade count or trade volume. And uh, so I'm combining those in this edition to make it a little bit more streamlined and just letting you switch between that in settings um, by just selecting either volume here or tick count. Uh, you just choose which one you want and go with that and that automatically switches the indicator between the two. So that eliminates a little bit of uh, extra uh, of uh, 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 the extra additions that I had with this package. And the other thing is um, with the higher time frames I had previously had a monthly, a weekly, and a daily uh, separate indicators for each because you know they aggregate in different you know periods so like the monthly of course resets every 12 uh, periods whereas the weekly would reset every 52 or 51 depending on the year uh, and the daily would be you know if you're doing the uh, yearly the day of the year then it would be a 252 period uh, reset so anyway I combined that all into one so that you can use the same indicator for each time frame and just change the um, the uh, number of periods here by typing in if you're on a monthly chart you type in 12 if you're on a daily chart you type in 252 and if you're on a weekly chart you type in 52 so that's how that works uh, and so you can just apply that to either any of the higher time frames that you want and that uh, simplifies it down to only one indicator so you have just one script to, to deal with um, but the biggest thing is the uh, paint bars. Uh, the uh, the fact that I've uh, uh, we have the the same time based uh, logic where we look at, for instance, on the intraday time period. Uh, I'm on a five minute chart here. We look at uh, the twelve o'clock five minute bar, and we uh, we look at that particular bar on every previous day for the past however many days you set in settings, which um, on this uh, indicator set to 10 days and uh, it will create an average of just that bar and then um, compare the current bars volume to the average volume for that bar and see if it's unusual in any way and if it's high volume then it will start uh, creating a brighter color and if it's lower volume it'll create a, a darker color Anyway, this is just a really easy way to visualize the volume without having to look at different something other than just the price. And I found this, you know, to be really effective at drawing your eyes to the really important um, moment in time uh, when a trade is changing direction or a pattern is breaking or something like that. The volume often will really pinpoint that really well. So. Uh, as an example of that, look over here at this tick chart. I have a hundred tick chart pulled up on uh, Coca-Cola here for today. And just look at this. So you can see here that volume ignited the initial run in the morning. 
it marked virtually the very end of the move. It again marked virtually the end of this move, uh, this pivot here. And again, we have another, as it came down to retest this level, uh, we have another high volume bar marking that as well. So you, these, vo uh, these high volume bars often emerge right at pattern retests, uh, pattern failures, that type of thing. And so you can see uh, many different examples of this. Uh, depending on how you aggregate the volume to, uh, this is a hundred tick chart, but you can use it, you know, whatever other aggregation you want. And so you can see that, you know, volume tends to pick up at these extremes. Also, sometimes just at the trend breaks or, um, you know, so it, as it broke this pivot here, uh, it came back down and it was retesting the support level and it broke right there. And so volume really picked up as it was breaking. And so little things like that, they give you little cues, uh, little clues of what uh, is happening with the price action, if a pattern's being broken and so forth. And so I find this, especially on tick charts, it seems to really, uh, really help because you're looking at an extra dimension of the market. You're aggregating by trade count already on the tick chart, and then you're looking at the volume, the share volume, for that same number of ticks, and uh, anything unusual that happens there is really indicative of a change in the market, a change in sentiment or change of direction, that kind of thing, or you know, pattern breaks, like I said. So anyway, uh, I'm releasing this update for the paint bars for both the time-segmented, time-based volume, uh, I also have it for just a moving average relative volume, which can be used on the tick charts. That's why I have loaded up here. Um, this one is uh, calculated based on uh, just a moving average of the normal volume uh, because tick charts don't obviously don't have time, uh, a time element to them as much. So uh, this is just a moving average that will work on uh, uh, tick-based charts. Then we have the time segmented that works on um, time-based charts, or you can use the uh, moving average as well, whichever one you prefer. Uh, and then we also have the higher time frame, monthly, weekly, uh, daily study that will um, let you choose the uh, you know the the period, whether it's 12 uh, 12 bars for the year or uh, 52 bars for the the year on a weekly chart. Um, you know, or 252 bars for the year on the daily chart. And uh, so you can customize it however you want there, and it will dynamically colorize the chart based on the extreme, the relative volume uh, reaching extremes of, of low or high. So um, I hope this is as intriguing to you as it is to me, I've found this to be uh, to point out some really interesting spots on a chart, and like I, I just showed you here. And um, so I, I hope my uh, blog readers will get some value out of this. Like I said, this is a free update to all prior purchasers of the uh, relative volume study package, and uh, anybody else that's interested can check us out at thinkorswim.net or easycaters.com. And um, we'll go from there. If you have any questions, just send me an email on the site. And thanks a lot. Talk to you later.